It's just an unbelievable accomplishment to go back to back um, to the finals and continue this this journey. So uh, I'm kind of just taking in the moment and uh, enjoying it with my teammates. I haven't really thought much about Cleveland. Know know what uh, the challenge is going to be. You know they've been playing well the whole playoff you know run that they've had and. Um, you know, we'll, we'll obviously game plan and, and get our minds ready for the next challenge. But um, like I told every single one of my teammates when I saw them in the locker room, like uh, and, and embrace this 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 accomplishment, this moment because of how hard it is to get back here. And you know, we have 48 hours, you know, starting tomorrow to get ready for game one at home. Steph taking in the moment before he sets his sights on the NBA Finals and those Cavaliers. So our basketball power index gives Golden State a 75% chance to win the series. Stephen, are you on board with this? Should they be such heavy favorites? No, they should not. Um, I don't believe that the Golden State Warriors should be heavy favorites for a, bev for a bevy of reasons. Number one, uh, as great as Steph Curry is, is questionable health. Um, you know, he's not 100 percent and I think he'll be he'll need to be pretty close to it for the challenge that awaits. Number two, I think in the last series, some of the bigs for the Golden State Warriors have gotten exposed, uh, particularly the interior defense. They'll be going up against a guy in LeBron James that I can assure you will be visiting the hole quite often. He's coming to the basket. He's coming for them. So is Clay. Uh, so is Kyrie Irving. And I'm going to take this a step further. <clears throat> Skip Bayless, as you know, I've been covering a lot of Cleveland games this year. They want Golden State bad, man. Mm. I mean, this is not a team that believes that, you know, they are going to play second fiddle to Golden State. This is not a team that fears Golden State. They respect them. They understand the challenge that awaits, but they want them, and they're fully and they're fully loaded now. And I've got my questions, and as we break down this series moving forward, I'll let you know what it is. But I'll tell you this much: LeBron James is not going to have an exhaustion issue <laughs> like he did midway through the finals last year. He's going to be able to be spelled for some minutes. Matthew Dellavedova is not going to be required to go to the ho to the hospital to get some fluids in him because um, you know he has to play so many minutes. Why? Because both reasons is because of Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving is going to have the ball in his hands. Kyrie Irving is going to have an answer for what Steph Curry decides to throw at him, for what Klay Thompson decides to throw at him. Kyrie Irving's a bad boy. And I can assure you that more times than not in this upcoming NBA Finals series, you will hear from him. So because of that and the level of inspiration that they have, because they believe that they would have won the championship last year if they didn't, they didn't have to succumb to injuries to Kyrie Irving in game one of the NBA Finals, Kevin Love in the first round series against Boston. I just think that this is going to be one of those epic series, not to mention the fact that if we're being totally honest, LeBron James is a two-time champion, no question. But I've said this to a lot of people, and I'm going to say it again. You can't be the king without a crown. And I know he's got two rings, but I'm not looking at those crowns. Yep. I'm saying that right now, in this moment, the reigning, the defending NBA champion is Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors. And if you were to lose to Steph Curry again, he's the king. And I think LeBron is aware of that. And I don't think there's anybody that wants to get at Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors more than LeBron James. And so because of that, that high motivation uh, element that exists here, I'm just going to look at it. And I, and I know Golden State wants them too. I had Klay Thompson say to me last night, look, man, you know, I said, hey, they want you. Yo, no, we want them. So Golden State wants Cleveland too, sure. which is going to make the series epic. But yeah. nevertheless, Cleveland's highly motivated. 75 to 25 percent favorites? Mm -hmm. No. That is too steep, too wide of a margin, and I don't see that being the case in this series. Yeah, our basketball power index had the likeliest outcome, or has it, at Golden State in five. So it's saying it's giving the highest percentage Golden State in five. Wow.
I don't see that. And by the way, neither do I. As, as I just listened to you break it down for me and for us, it sounded like, and I know we're going to save our picks for a couple of days, probably until Thursday. Yeah. But it sounded like, to me, you were starting to lean toward picking the Cleveland Cavaliers. Did I, I hear have that? No comment, I have no comment about that until Thursday mm. morning. Okay. I just, I know you pretty <laughs> well, and I just, just got that He's drift. Keeping a good poker I've face right now. You with, I've surprised you with a few of my picks. You have surprised me. But that yeah. was just to trump my pick, you know, like to, to undercut it or jinx it or whatever. Well, let, That's let, when you well, let, 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 let's put myself on front street. My record during the playoffs is pretty exceptional, but during the no, finals is awful. Not so much. Because yeah. I get emotional. You do. I get emotional during the finals, and I get caught up in my feelings. In certain places, I don't want to travel. I got aspirations <laughs> for the series to end at a particular game, so I don't have to go back to another city, you know, or I get caught I up it. in rooting for somebody. And I will, I will openly confess this. I'm not going to make any decisions until Thursday in all seriousness because it is that tight of a call for me. But, Skip... I have to confess to you, I love me some Steph Curry. I think he's a beautiful person, man, and a great superstar. But? But I don't want yeah. LeBron James to lose That's another final. That's your strongest I I, emotion I, I, I'm hearing. I, I, yeah. I genuinely don't want, I, I really, really don't want okay. LeBron James. I'm going to be very sad if LeBron James walks away with his head down I got and it. he's lost another NBA final. Two and five. That would mean five losses it, it and seven just, it, tries it hurts. in the finals. It hurts to imagine that that could happen to him. It really does. <sighs> Which is why, albeit you, that, that you told me that you're hearing from the Cleveland side, we want Golden State. We want to we want to take him on at full strength with Kyrie. He looks to me like 100% healthy and Kevin Love healthy. And yet, and still, I imagine last night in the third quarter, LeBron sitting back watching it happen, watching Oklahoma City self-destruct 29 to 12 in the third quarter. And I imagine LeBron heaving a sigh and thinking to himself, uh-oh, now I got Steph Curry again. And I know you tell me they want Steph, they want Golden State, but you also tell me this, if somehow Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook had pulled it off, wouldn't you have given LeBron a better chance of beating Durant than Steph Curry? I would. Yes, because yes, yes because of the decision making on the part I, of, I, of Golden State. I mean, uh, of yes. Oklahoma City. Correct. But in fairness, in fairness, the great Rick Barry, who was a phenomenal basketball player, close friend of and mine, I could, and I, yep. and I could, I consider him a basketball savant. Oh, the man amazing. knows basketball as okay? much as anybody I've ever known. Yep. He said to me last night after the game. He said, we're not beating Cleveland if we play like this. It, it was pretty Not awful. like this. I, I would agree with that. Yeah. Not like that. He no, expects them you. to play better. He yeah. expects them to play better. But he was on the Golden State Warriors that they have to play better. Yeah. And he, he would know what he's talking about. He does, except... They didn't have a three-point shot back in his day, and the three just, it, it washes away all your sins. You know, like you, you start just raining threes, and all of a sudden, all those turnovers, yeah. all those, those mess-ups, you know, all those blown yeah. plays, they just yeah, go but he's away. So not, but, he's so, but he's so knowledgeable about the, about the game of basketball yeah. that I'm, sure, I'm certain he sees the element of the three-point shot. He takes that into consideration. And when he talks, and he's critical about the Golden State Warriors, he we is. would need to listen because he's out here in the Bay. He watches them every oh, day. He watches everything every game yep I agree so back to Molly's question should Golden State be a prohibitive favorite should should they be a, a decided favorite no they should not for all the reasons you just broke down should they be a favorite do they have the edge yes they do and and I'm gonna just break it down you you can <laughs> you can disagree if you choose but I'm going to boil it down to this. I still think that Steph Curry is a little mentally tougher than LeBron James. That's just me, because he's demonstrated that time and time again. But I, I, I'm with you on this. To me, LeBron, A, had the easiest path to a finals any superstar I can ever remember ever did have, which means LeBron is healthy, he's rested, he's mentally and physically primed for this he cannot be better and I told you yesterday he's playing basketball at the highest all-around level I've ever seen him play and he's got his team clicking around him 
Everybody has found their roles right on time, thanks in large part to Tyron Lue and the job he has done. LeBron loves him, respects him, trusts him. So LeBron's got his coach, he's got his two co-stars, he's got his role players in Tristan and JR and Channing Frye. It's, it all fell right into place. Ha, what, what more could LeBron ask for? He has no excuses here. It's time for him to just go play. And I believe they do want to get even with Golden State. I, I get that. But Golden State also wants to prove to the world that it can beat a full-strength Cleveland because they felt like they got slighted last year where they didn't get the credit they thought they had earned, that well, there was an asterisk yeah. that, oh, they were hurt. Go ahead. They, 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 listen, Golden State's been highly motivated because people have questioned whether their title was fraudulent. So they had a chip on their shoulders sure. coming into the season, which is what assisted Luke Walton in starting off 24-0 and finishing 39-4 and as a, as a head coach and replacing Steve Kerr for those 43 games. But the other side to all of this, let's not forget, Skip, the element of Tyron Lue and LeBron James. And here's why. If you recall, on January 18th, I'm at the Cleveland Cavaliers Golden State Warriors game. <clears throat> We're looking forward to that game. Golden State walks into the building, goes up 43, <laughs> and wins by 34, about 34, 32 points. In the immediate aftermath of that game, I go on Sports Center and I come on first take the next morning. And I tell you that David Blatt's in a world of trouble. You I'm did. walking through the hallways. I'm telling you what's going on. Yep. And two days after that, the man was fired. He was gone. Yep. You were fired at 30 and 11 as a number one seed in the East. So here you are. Tyron Lue has been given the reins. LeBron James obviously approves of that move. You are here right now back at the NBA Finals. That elevates the level of pressure to some degree because this is the justification for making the move that you made. There's a certain brand of basketball, a certain style, a certain swag that you needed to have because you anticipated coming out of the East and that your opponent would be the Golden State Warriors. Well, here they are. They've lived up to their billing. You've lived up to yours. And now we have an epic rematch here. So all of those elements come into play. And it really comes down to, I, I have no doubt that LeBron's going to do his thing. I have no doubt that Kyrie is going to do his thing. I got two questions. J.R. Smith, last year NBA Finals, shot 31% from yep. the field, 29% from three-point range, and finished the last three games of, their conf of the NBA Finals, in which they lost all three, shooting 12 of 42 from the field. Okay? That's what happened. So you got the J.R. element, and the most pivotal moment in this series, it comes down to Kevin Love. What is Kevin Love mm -hmm. going to give you? Will he be that rough rider that Cleveland needs? Because Golden State has Draymond Green. Yep. And Draymond Green ain't scared of no damn Kevin Love. No. Yep. Kevin Love's got to show up. If he doesn't, I don't, I don't know if Cleveland can win this series. But again, I'll make my prediction on Thursday. Mm, we as, as will I. Stay tuned for that. Nobody has lost three straight NBA Finals in over 45 years. Three members on the 68-70 Lakers team. So we have to wait till Thursday to hear what these two have to say. But we want you to weigh in. First Take fam, go on to Twitter. Let us know who's going to win, Warriors or Cavs. We'll share those results a little later in the show. And coming up.